Shabbat Shalom. Let me find my page. Give me one second. There it is. In this week's Torah portion, the beginning of the Torah portion says, Vayomer Adonai el Moshe bo el paro ki ani hichbaditi et libo ve et lev avadav Lema'an shiti ototai ela bekirbo. God says to Moses, I go to Pharaoh. Bo, go or come to Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the hearts of his courtiers. I have hardened his heart. Pharaoh has a hard heart heart, to the quality, the essence, that which we think of, that which Torah tells us is the essence of a pharaoh, is hardness. Hardness. God here says to Moses, step up to the hard thing, to the hard place, to the hard one. And as we read the story, it's clearly a narrative, and it's got characters, it's got Moses, it's got Pharaoh, and that would suggest that Moses goes to Pharaoh in an external way. But what if we were to think about this not as Moses going outside of himself to another. But that Moses is called to go to the hardness inside himself. That the Pharaoh, that the paro, that we all know, is not anyone over there. But that one, here, in here, Okay, so I want to acknowledge that is a very scary thing to think about. What? The hardness that I face in my life isn't coming from someone else? But maybe it's coming from me? Mmm. That mmm. I don't like that very much. That's a hard place to go. The idea that the hardness might be inside of me and not external to me. And yet, Moses does go. He is called by something greater than himself, something holy, to not turn away from the hard place. And even more than not turning away from the hard place, to turn, to turn toward the hard place. To say, if I were to go to the Pharaoh inside myself, what freedom might ultimately come from that? It will clearly not be without plagues. <laughs> right? In this Torah portion, God says, go to Pharaoh, and Moses goes to Pharaoh, and then it doesn't work. <laughs> Instead of, oh, <laughs> Moses gets locusts, <laughs> swarming locusts obscuring the sun, obscuring vision. 
go to the hard place within yourself is not a lovely invitation to take a walk in a sunny park. Instead, it is an imperative that requires courage and requires strength and requires a sense that you are not alone, even if going inside to the hard place feels like being alone. Because the command says, in its commandedness, I'm with you. I'm here. I'm in it. I'm in it with you. I'm both in the hard and in you going to the hard. There is holiness, there is divinity, and there is presence that is possible to understand in the world. And it's not a simple process. And it requires courage. And it requires again and again and again. Stepping up to the hard places in ourselves, knowing that this time perhaps there will be darkness or hail or locust. But that in stepping to that hard place, again and again and again we may find ourselves with a moment of Yeshua, of redemption. And then, like the Israelites' journey through the wilderness, it might not last. <laughs> we might be hungry again, or we might be thirsty again, or we might lose faith again. And then that will require that we step to the hard place again. The invitation here is not to a life of ease, and it is not to a life that is simple and uncomplicated. But the invitation is that we can understand that in the stepping to the hardness and the stepping to those places within us that need us to look at them, that ultimately we can find moments perhaps longer and longer and longer, of redemption. And that we do not have to do that alone. Shabbat shalom.